Hello Vikings, welcome back to Stationers, this is episode 3 and what I've done off camera is basically sort out the solar panel and the auto tracking system. So basically the solar panel is now, if I go around, what it's doing is it's tracking the sun. So if we go up there and have a look you'll see it is slowly, very slowly, tracking the sun as the sun goes around. Basically, that is run off of this daylight sensor as that changes the degrees. And then it goes through these logit chips, um, which basically perform maths um, to get the angle that the solar panel needs to be at. So with that in mind, I no longer have to micromanage energy so much. So... I'm going to wait here for a second and have a little bit more power in this before I swap the battery out. And then what we want to do actually is, yeah, so we're going to swap that out. Um, and then we're going to go get some oxide and volatile because we want to get this up and running um, and melt some steel, which we're going to need some iron for that and some coal which we've already got and the whole idea of that being is that then in here we can build a battery um, a large battery kit which will enable us to have more charge so it will operate better when there's no sun so basically at the moment this battery in here obviously charges and at, and at the moment I'm swapping the batteries out um, and then when there's no sun if I switch anything on inside the base, the power comes out of this battery, which obviously with it being a small battery, it's going to drain pretty quick. So if I put a large battery system in, it enables the sun to charge the battery system up and then it can run off of that throughout the day. And then the idea is I want to put at least another two to three more solar panels up there um, so I can hold more energy and use more energy during the day and then probably somewhere in the base I'm going to have a charging station to charge some more large batteries that I can then swap out on my suit and stuff so what, then if I don't have to worry about power as much anymore I am more free to actually build the base um, and then the next step is going to be worrying about oxygen and getting a, a base pressurized so there we go now that's swapped I'll we'll get that one charged and swap that one out and just put that small one in there. So what I'm going to go do now is look for some volatile iron oxide. So for that, I'm going to need this. Swap that out. And let's just put that in there, shall we? Voila. So um, let's get the belt. Okay. Right. Basically, a volatile and oxide is what you need to put into the furnace to get it pressurized and get it burning. Um, so, got some stuff down there. That's gold down there. It's always good to know. Good to know where some gold is. Um, there's some more iron if we ever need some. Do, 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 do. Now, volatiles and oxide are ice, so basically they will melt during the day. Um, and if left anywhere hot. But if they're in the mining belt, then they won't. So let's just dig an area out. Oh, some more iron there. Uh, let's see what we've actually got. Is it just one bit? I think I actually need two. Right. I can always do a more copper. Let's just grab this while we're here. Iron. Just. Right, just 
leave that iron exposed. Ooh, we've got some uranium. Don't actually know what we need uranium for at the moment, so I'm not going to bother with it. That's just straight up ice. That's silicone. So now what we need is some oxide. Let's just uncover this a bit so we know it's here. Same as this one. Oh look, there's loads of volatile there. How did I miss that? And here's some oxide. Perfect. Again, we don't need massive amounts of that for the moment. Um, put that back. And we'll make our way back. So we're going to look at in the coming episodes, pressurizing our base and actually get some oxygen in. Um, I don't actually know how much I've got in my tank. 4,400. So I don't know how long that's going to last. But we shall see. Hopefully I'm not going to be under too much pressure. Um, so that's charging. And the sun is about to go. So while we're here, let's look at this. The pressure is zero, so what we're going to do is put that in there. Now I have no idea why that's going up. I haven't ignited it. So basically you want to every one coal you want 50 where well you want um, one coal you want three parts iron to get steel and then if we just do this oh crap because the sun's out I need to go grab that volatile quickly. Where was it? There we go. I can have it in my hand. And then basically what I want to do is um, we want to split one. Put that there. And nope, we don't want to do that. We want to put that back there and then we want to take this and we want to split one and we want to put this back in here and then what we want to do is put that weight. So what we want to do if this works properly is put two volatile in there and then put that in there and then bump and it fires up there we go now we've got steel perfect so put the steel in here and what have we got in here we've got everything by looks of it so turn this on and what we want to build is network more scanner, cartridge, circuit board. Battery cell small, battery cell large. See, we can actually build that, but we don't want that at the moment. Battery cell large. Cable coil, construction kit, flashing kit battery is what we want. So we actually need more copper. A lot more copper. Did I put any copper in here? No, not. Huh. Got any copper in here? Hmm. Well, lucky I have some copper in here. So while this is hot, let's put this up and put this in there. There we go. 
and we've got copper. Boom. And now we could do the kit battery. Boom. And what we're going to need is, after that, we're going to need some heavy coil. Probably going to need about, I'll get 10. We'll get 10 ready. Mm, probably eight actually. Don't want to use too much up. Four, five, six. It's really annoying it does that. I need to look at moving this. Seven. And eight. Let's turn that off. So what we're gonna look at doing is we are going to have but uh, if I don't fall Build stationary battery. So that's going to be perfect. Probably have it. Power goes in there. And we want power out. So. Hmm, I don't know where we should actually have this. I don't know, we'll have it up there. Out the wave. Ooh, my jetpack's going low. That's not good. Used it quite a bit in constructing. So, actually, if we have this here then. So what we're going to do is let's switch these belts around. Um, and then what we're going to do is get some of this. And what we need to do is actually but uh, I'm gonna stuff this up now royally because my jetpack's dying. Right, that we need. That we need. Let's actually put this in here for the moment. Right, what we need is then a corner to go into here. There we go, like so. So that will go into there and charge that. And we can just that will go on. And uh, I do not want to do that. I'll tell you what, while I'm here, this needs to come off of here because otherwise it will blow, I believe. So what we need to do now is put this one on and then what we want is we want yep straight there straight 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 just get up here quickly hope you could build ladders or something in this because I'm probably gonna need them Right, let's do a corner piece. Right. Like so, and then I 
Ah, uh, come on. How do you... Nope. Ah. Uh. I'm struggling with this today. There we go. So now that's all hooked up to there. So in theory, as soon as the sun comes up, that's on. This should start charging, and then that will run the cable down there, and hopefully not blow that up. I say hopefully. We shall see. Um, right, let's put the rest of the cable here. We've got ore, ore. Right, I'm going to take this opportunity to go find some more copper and iron and then the next bit is going to be putting in two more hopefully two more um, solar panels we shall see so I'll probably cut this bit out because mining's a little bit boring and I'll be back with you when I've got some more resources. Right, we are just heading back to base. I've managed to find some gold and plenty of iron. Um, we are going to be needing to work on copper though. So I might need to go back out. As you could see, see that flashing? So it's draining power now. And that's probably because I've left this on. So let's just put this away. What we're going to do is put another load in there, activate that. And then what I want to do is fire this back up. So uh, let's put that away. We're going to need um, hunger caution. Ah, oh, that's not good. Caution. That must have been an update. This is going to change everything. Okay, so we want this, and then we want to split one, split one, and then we'll put this away for now. And pick this up. Right, let's put two more of them in, one of them in. Activate that. Uh, did they fall straight out? Boom. No? Maybe they fell straight out. Uh, let's do this this way. But again, you know, let's just bung it all in and see what happens. Um, probably going to blow it up. Way there we go. So now hoping this will smelt real quick there we go bump so now we've got gold and what we want is put that in put uh, come on put that in and that in. I might as well smelt all this down while we're there. Might as well smelt all this iron down while we can. There we go. Bump. And front. let's put the iron there. Okay, we've got some iron here, put this in here, put this in here, put this in here. Right, we need to look at food then. Okay, what have we got? Consumable supplies, nope. Organic supplies. 
take a zero bar. Consume zero bar. Okay. Right, so with that is going to need us to step along a little bit. So I'm going to need to get this power up first. Um, which is what we're going to need to do then. Let's get some iron stuff up. Um, let's turn this on. We need to build iron frames. Iron frames, I think. Where's my building boxes? They're over there. Mm -mm -mm. Power control, iron wall, iron sheets. I got sheets. Oh, I got some gold there as well. So let's get for the rest of this episode, we're just going to get the power up and running on these two. So, first off, I need iron frames probably going to need, well we're going to need a load anyway, so let's just put the sheets down there so we know where they are, can never have too many of these, and then let's turn this on, and then we want, take this, kit battery, beacon, kit computer, we can see if we've got a solar panel, Ah, oh, we're gonna need copper. That's not good. Right, we're gonna need copper. Right, because what we're gonna do is build off of there, build off of there, build there, and yeah, because we're going to put three more on. Do that for now. Um, let's put the rest of these in here. We're going to need to go find some copper. Tell you what. Let's just leave these here. We're going to go find some copper quickly, and I'll be right back with you. Alright, we are returning to base with some copper. I actually found loads and loads of gold out to the um, rise in the east, sets in the west, into the west. So, but we are actually now starting to suffer properly from food, so... I'm going to munch a whole one of these. And hopefully that keeps me going. Um, otherwise we are going to be in big trouble. Did it just turn it off? Yep. So what we got. Hopefully this is nice and hot still. Bump. Excellent. Get this copper smelted because it's quicker in here. And sh chuck this in here, chuck this in here. What we can do is turn it on now. Uh, that's the one. What we'll do actually is just put you in here. That's what we turn you on. So we got now, I'm going to build two solar panels. And then I'm going to have to do some research about food after this. Because we will be in trouble. There we go. And I've got some glass, haven't I? Uh, let's put these here, because first thing I need to do is... Let's just dump this here, dump this ore here, and what we need to do is get the other belt on, because we're going to be doing some work, and put this one away. 
And let's get our welder out, shall we? Get our welder out. And put some frame on. Put some frame in. Just so we can walk on it. Turn it off. Um, right, we're going to take these up. And I'll tell you what, actually, let's, um, before that goes disappearing, chuck that in there, turn it on, let's go around. What I might do is look at putting the stairs on here, just so in future I can get access up to here. See, that's not fully charging yet, and a reason why I think that is, is because we need to build a few more of these. So what I actually want to do is turn that round, have that like that, and have that one like that. And then, oh, I need a glass, didn't I? Let's put these back in. Let's take the glass sheets. There we go. Finish that off. And finish that off. I should really learn to take everything with me as opposed to um, having to keep jump down because what I'm going to need now is actually I'm going to need some wire. While we're here, chuck this in, activate you up. Um, not heavy wire, just normal wire will do. 12 should be enough. I'm hoping. I know, I know. So what we want to do is now these should start rotating around. Hopefully, if I've done this all correctly. And not blown anything up. That should all come back online in the morning. So, we'll put the cable back. And stack some iron up there. Iron up there. Iron up there. Right. For the length of actually building the base, let's actually see what we've got. Iron frames. Not enough. I'm going to run the base along here and around. So. We are going to need this at some point. Drop that there. Stake. Let's just move stuff around while we're just waiting. Just so we can wait. Actually. You know what I wanted to do? Um, we want it. Really hungry? Oh, why am I getting hungry so quickly? Tell you what we wanted to do. We wanted to actually power up. Where is it? Battery charger. Uh, Nope. 
So she just have that there. Cut that there. Go get some more cable. And cable junction. do now is put this on for a sec um, we want battery cell at large boom while that's making that put that coil back And then what we're going to do is just stick that there and turn you on. Now if I'm correct in what I'm saying, and then what I've done, yep, that's charging up. And this should be now, yeah, see it's already stopped flashing, so the amount of energy going in there now should Yep, they're ticking over. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That's going to charge. Turn that off. Right. Let's actually put this one back into charge as well. And then what I want to do is get a load of iron frames. But you know what? We could probably leave all of these switched on. Probably. The pressure's still massive on that, so if I need to smelt anything more down, it'd be nice and easy. doesn't actually seem to be charging as much as what I thought it would be. Uh, we're getting stuck and I fell. Could be because everything's switched on. So it could be because that's charging. We shall see. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed what you've seen so far. Um, leave some comments if you know how to build a hydro farm, um, that would be wonderful because I don't think I'm going to last with this food. I've got eggs, soybeans, wheat, fern, so I guess that's everything I need to grow with. So we are really going to start struggling now, so I need to look at building up. Right, that's me for now. Smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.